Police have warned if you, your car keys are in your hands, you're a target for carjackers. And one neighborhood in Philadelphia is learning that firsthand right now. Here's our Jennifer Joyce. Carjackings have increased exponentially over the last year, and right now people in the Fairmount section of this city are particularly concerned. It's very unfortunate because every, everybody feels really unsafe right now. People in the Fairmount neighborhood, recent targets of a citywide carjacking epidemic. I just think it makes you make, you know, reminds you you need to be really aware of your surroundings. Um, it does seem like there are a lot more of them recently. According to Philadelphia police on Thursday at 28th and Parrish streets at one o'clock in the afternoon, a woman was approached by two people with guns as she was getting out of her car. Investigators say the robbers stole her vehicle and cell phone. A neighbor shared this surveillance video of what's believed to show a group of suspects in a getaway car followed closely by the rest of the crew speeding off in the stolen vehicle. People in the neighborhood say this is one of three carjackings that's happened in the last week. It definitely makes you feel a little uneasy, especially since they're during the day. I hope that they can find a solution and that they can give us, you know, some, I don't know, probably police um, help or some patrolling in the neighborhood because three, four that I heard of for carjackings in the past week. So and they are all during the day. Angela Masapus says she tries to be careful, especially when she has her children with her. You look everywhere. You're paying attention who's coming next to you. If you hear a noise behind you, carjackings are up at least 80% in the last year. Just last month, Congresswoman Mary Gay Scanlon was carjacked at gunpoint following a meeting at FDR Park in South Philadelphia. It's a good reminder to just always be on the lookout. Police are asking anyone with any information on these carjackings to give them a call. They are looking for surveillance video. Reporting from Old City, I'm Jennifer Joyce, Fox 29 News.